It was meant to be a celebration of Poland's identity and culture and a chance to honour those who fought to win her freedom. Thousands of people, including President Bronisław Komorowski, converged on Warsaw to mark Polish Independence Day. Many wore the national colours of red and white or dressed as soldiers of the Second World War. But what started peacefully degenerated into violent chaos as a hardcore of far-right nationalists broke away from the main procession. Slipping down a side street, gangs of youths wearing balaclavas and football scarves attacked a squat inhabited by left-wing radicals. The two sides traded missiles and Molotov cocktails before riot police moved in, making several arrests. Back in the city centre, large crowds of right-wing demonstrators faced off against security forces, waving Polish flags and red flares and chanting nationalist slogans. As society becomes more liberal, many Poles like these say they feel sidelined and demand the government respect their traditional values. This sense that Poland's conservative culture is under attack has prompted increasing outbreaks of right-wing street violence. As the march continued through the capital, Russia's embassy was targeted. Symbolic to many Poles of the brutal repression of the Soviet era, it was attacked with flares and firecrackers, setting light to a rubbish bin inside the embassy grounds. Only the presence of large numbers of riot police forming a cordon around the building prevented further damage. The protesters' final target was Babicella Square, a well-known meeting place for young left-wing students and intellectuals. It's a potent symbol of Poland's most liberal elements. A large arch decorated with bright colours and artificial flowers representing tolerance and diversity was torched by the rioters as police looked on. This is the third year in a row Independence Day has been marred by violence of this kind. As the fault lines in Polish society continue to deepen, it looks unlikely to be the last. Chris Wade, Sky News.